It used to be made from a Harbor Freight fold-out trailer. That looks so good. Oh my God, it's really starting to take shape. Even with the sleeves, we've got a ton of flex in that frame. This is next level fabrication. I got hit with a welder berry. Welder berry? Yeah. A weld berry? A welder berry. So the reason that's important is we want the distance between this top to be the same as the distance as the bottom. Because these are going to be the mounts for the rear A arms. See this that's like perfectly square to the table. At some point in my future, I'll get something called the mega squares or other fixtures that go like this and are just perfectly 90. Then I don't have to do that nonsense. Those but sound intense. They are. I mean, the marketing is just fantastic, right? I hear mega square and I'm just like, okay, I need it. This is like so over the top. We're building something that's gonna cruise at 10 miles an hour, but you gotta take pride in your work. This is holding this square to that side over there. Mm -hmm. And as I undid this clamp, because of the heat in this joint, it's pulling this side in. So it's not square anymore. It's how much out of square it is with the other side. But that's fine. As soon as you put the other one in. Yep. As soon as I put this other piece in. Again. Yeah. But, but now I can turn this around and duplicate it perfectly. That got heavy fast. But I'm a very strong young man. <laughs> very strong. Tube. It's right there, baby. <laughs> I think I need to grind. Do you want to just double check it's perfectly square before you grind anything away? No, I, I know I need to grind stuff away because the weld on this side makes it bulge out. Mm. See how much better that fits in there? Just slid right into place. And now we know that this is square to that. So this is for what, the A-arms? This is the start of the frame rail. These are gonna be the upper and lower mounts for the A-arms for the rear. These are gonna run the whole length of the frame, this width and up and down, and then we'll build the frame out as we need to. But to extend this, just sand it out a little bit because it's a seam weld, and then this should slide right inside of it. That'll give us like two, three inches of overhang, and then we'll slide the other one onto it and we'll weld it nice and straight. And then we'll be able to make sure it's continuously straight forward and aft, and that's how we'll handle most of the frame for this. <laughs> Checking if it's perfectly aligned. I love that technique. Thing. What is it called? Uh, the shuffle shuffle slide. Okay. I am looking at this right now and you know what I've realized? This is literally the width of what the booze cruise used to be. 48 inches wide and we're gonna add up to 102. Look at that stance. <laughs> so it's gonna go from this width to 102. So it's gonna gain a significant amount on either end. It looks so square. It is. There we go. Nice and tight. Tight like a toyga. So this side's like all wiggly woggly. Like there's flex and stuff. Yeah. And that's gonna make it so much easier to align it with these perfectly, you know? Yeah, it was a good idea. Thanks. You have those sometimes. Sometimes? Mm-hmm. Often. What made you want to put a smaller tube to connect them? Well, it's going to make it uh, much, a lot easier much, and sturdier. It's, yeah, it's going to be a lot easier and it's going to be a lot stronger. And technically, whenever you're combining tubes like this, you should really have a smaller tube. You should have a sleeve inside of it because when you do butt welds like that, it's like the weakest type of weld. Yeah, because it's, it's just, not welding to anything. It's yeah, just, it's just the weld holding these two pieces in place like this. Yeah. There's no structure. Of the, there's no geometry of the material that's holding it together. Yeah, that makes sense. So this way, you know, now there's something inside that's congruent between the two pieces. That looks so good. Holy shit, this thing is going to be absolutely massive. It's going to be so gigantic. That's crazy. That's cr The camera doesn't even do it justice. You can't even see how long it is. Look at how much flex this has. So we just finished this up the other day, adding on the 
extra 10 feet of the frame. But even with the sleeves, we've got a ton of flex in that frame. Basically what's happening is when you have this much of a lever arm, there's a crazy amount of torque applied to this point. So even though we have those sleeves, even though it's welded nice, it is super weak around that point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend this top deck part out to this back, which we were gonna always do. But I wanted to show how much more rigid that makes the frame even before we do all the trussing in between. The second we add this second tube in here, now it needs to twist way more of the frame instead of just this little guy right here. So that's what we're gonna work on and we're gonna just get this all mocked up and it's gonna look great. This is nice and cooled down. Hopefully the internal stresses are not super high because it cooled slowly. And we have the sleeves already taken care of and prepped. So we're just gonna walk this bad boy right over and see if it fits like it should. Heavy. Yeah, it was a little bit heavier than I thought. For some reason I thought I was gonna be able to do a lateral raise with it. <laughs> Excellent, oh my God. Look at that. It fits perfectly. For I know you. it does. Look at that. Honestly, I should probably TIG weld this. It'll look better if I do. Wow. Look straight down this. It's literally the only bump you're gonna see is this little weld. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Okay, so that side's like perfectly vertical right now. And this side looks perfectly vertical. Before it was shifted to the left just a little bit. Unbelievable. For something that's 14 feet long that you're welding together, it's really hard to keep something that precise. Especially with this little supports. Like if I go down and I do a bunch of supports the whole way, then I can keep it a little bit more precise. But like this is next level fabrication. Now I want you to stand right where we were before. It's not welded together. This isn't welded yet. All right, that's not welded yet. Watch how much stronger this frame is already. Just from the geometry. That's Look, crazy. The whole thing moves now as one. As opposed to just that side. Yeah, as opposed, as opposed to just bending on that one spot. Oh my God. So obviously there's still a little bit of flex there, but when we do all the tr trussing, that's gonna completely go away. And obviously we're gonna add in, you know, this support going here, just like it has to be. And yeah, it's really good. Okay, now it's welded. See, look at how strong that is now. You can still see there's a little bit of give and then it takes over. But now it's strong enough to lift. Unbelievable. So we're working on the lower part of the frame for the suspension. Gonna notch them? Not quite yet. I wanna, I just cut those dimensions and as I was cutting that last one, I was thinking to myself, self, I hope these are the correct dimensions because we drew them in a notebook. We didn't lay them out in the fixture table. 34 inches is this dimension that I want. So, should be okay. That's the bigger side. I think it's gonna end up essentially being 33 and a half or whatever it is when you take it, or 33 inches. This table has a two inch offset, which means you can find it where if you're holding both pieces to the outside, there'll be a dimension that you can't hit. So like right now, if I was to do 34 inches, this is, the inside di dimension is 33. So that's an issue because the second I bring this one to this next box, now this inside is 35. Mm -hmm. So the way we get around that is, move this up to here. I set these to be from this edge to this edge as 34, which is the dimension we want. And we'll have one piece of our material on the outside and one piece of material on the inside. Genius. Thank you. So we got a little bit tired pretty quickly last night. We got this in the jig. We're gonna weld it up and put it underneath. So let me go turn the generator on. Hey, 
I got hit with a welderberry. Welderberry? Yeah. A welderberry? A welderberry. That welderberry almost took me out. It looks so good. I know, right? And as you can see, this is gonna sit underneath obviously, but these tubes are the exact width as our main frame rails. And that way these line up with it perfectly, but then we have this seven inch extension for our front suspension to um, mount to, which will give us the exact width we need for our front tires to be the same width as the rear. So that's why we have that seven inch extension right there. So where is it gonna sit specifically? The pieces are gonna come from here down to these corners. Mm -hmm. And there's a mark right here where it's gonna go there. And the reason I'm doing that interval is it will make it so the angle brace I do coming up will be symmetrical with that angle brace right there, the bottom one. Okay. So that way it's the same distance and it comes right into this point and then we only need to do one set of trussing here to firm up the middle. Okay, I think it's time to weld this on here. It looks so good. Right? It yeah. looks really, really good. It really, really does. It really, 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 <laughs> really, really does. Why would I do that? We're gonna cut all this out. All right, let's see what this looks like now that we've got it all welded together. Now, nothing should happen when I take this out. Ah, very nice. <gasps> okay. Oh my God. This thing is massive. It looks so good too. Hey, that looks so good. Yeah, right? That looks so good. Yeah, it was worth taking the time to really Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Like I was saying, the rest of the frame is so perfect. Fantastic job, baby. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's really like coming together. Like it's, it's starting to look like. Yeah, it's starting to take shape. It's yeah, starting to look exactly, like a machine. exactly. It's starting yeah. to take shape. Oh my God. It's really starting to take shape. All right. So the front suspension on this is going to be very, very simple because we're reusing all of the stuff from the other front suspension. So really all we need to do is build the brackets for the lower A arm. We were able to cut these out on the plasma table. It's the nicest looking bracket I've ever made. It looks so good. I it know. looks so good. And it was took me like 10 minutes to make all four of them. We're going to add those on to the end there, stick them on to the frame. Bzz, bzz. I'm trying to determine where I want this to actually sit along here. Do I do it a little bit further back? No, I feel like in the middle. In the middle? It'll just look more aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. Need some new bushings for this side. These, these arms in general need to be uh, need a little TLC. And obviously because of the weight capacity of these things, those little tubes, we're going to need to upgrade them. But that's a future video. Ready? Uh-huh. So what do we got here? This is the old frame for the Booze Cruise. You saw me building a masterpiece inside. It used to be made from a Harbor Freight fold-out trailer and the thing is just terrible. I used to look at this and be like, oh my God, he built this, it's so amazing. He's I mean, it is still amazing, but I, I mean, mean. Look, it, you could put lipstick on a pig and like, you know, we had the deck and the seats and everything was covered and it was like, but I mean, you can literally see, when I push right here, you can see that corner of the frame flexing. Yeah, but, yeah, you can see it moving. And that's just for me putting a little bit of pressure in this corner. Yeah. So imagine when you have 10 people going down that sleigh riding hill. Yeah, we definitely, none of us knew how, <laughs> none of us knew how, uh, unsafe yeah, it, was. it was. There was a lot more steel on here that I've cut away that made it stronger, but 
it should not be this weak for the load capacity it had beforehand. It's yeah. kind of crazy because I can't even imagine how big the other one's going to look the when thing everything is, the seats, is together. The seats came, hung over the side. Yeah, yeah. So that gave you like more room than you thought. But still, even like we know that the seats are going to hang over the sides of the wheels like yeah. for the other one. Mm -hmm. And it still looks massive yeah. compared to this. Well, it is. It's so much bigger. 